guys. Uh, what's up? It's Nick here. Um, just going to do a little showing of a deck, maybe play a couple rounds. Um, I think, honestly, the deck that I want to cover today is actually going to be... I'm going to go over my Gardevoir deck. So, I play my Gardevoir deck a little bit differently than most. As you can see, I run three Talon Flames. And, um, of course, for the ability Gale Wings and the Arrow Blitz, um, a lot of people are running the, well, goodness, what, what's his name? Um, uh, Yancy. Which isn't a bad thing. I was playing it before, but I ended up switch, switching it out for Talonflame, just because I think Talonflame is a little bit more unreliably reliable. <laughs> um... Now, as you can see, I'm playing four guard, or th four Rolts, three Gardevoir, or three Curlia, and uh, a Glade, and then uh, three Gardevoir. So, I mean, I run the four three four or four three three line, I guess, um, because you know now in this meta, there you have Espeon EX, who's going to be able to devolve your Pokemon if you're using rare candies, and you know we've all faced it before where. You devolve, they devolve your Pokemon, you can't evolve them back up. So that makes it a really tough situation and really hard to come back from. Um, now the Glade, um, I'm really glad to see that it's still in standard. Um, it, with its ability Premonition, I mean, once during your turn before you can t before you attack, uh, you may look at the top five cards of your deck and put them back on top of your deck in any order. That works out really well with Artillery's ability. So Artillery, of course, with the Abyssal Hand, once during your turn before you attack, you may draw until you have five cards in your hand. So say, you know, you have five cards in your hand or even six cards in your hand, and, um, you know, you Ultra Ball and, and you, you need something important or whatever. Well, no problem. You can set up whatever card you want to to be on top of your deck, and then you can pull that card. So it's kind of nice being able to control what you draw, and, and it'll definitely help you out. Um, of course, we play the standard two Tapu Lele, um, two Memory, two Artillery, which I explained earlier, um, two Field Blower. Um, it's really good against just about anything kind of standard there. Um, one Professor's Letter. Um, I haven't seen too many decks run Professor's Letter, but it's starting to come become more popular nowadays. Um, and honestly, it it's very helpful. You can search out two basic energies with Gardevoir's Effect, um, Secret Spring. Um, it'll allow you to attach a fairy energy card from your hand to uh, one of your Pokemon. So Gardevoir actually builds up really quick, and it's really nice to have Professor's Letter to get those extra energies in your hand when you don't have energy. Um, we're still playing Rare Candy. Um, debating on dropping it down to two or three, but sometimes there's there's times where you really need that Rare Candy. Um, and a lot of the times you'll have to, you know, I play one Skyla to help me pull those energies. Now, I also have uh, the Rescue Stretcher here. That's pretty standard as well. Four Ultra Balls, two Bridgets. Um, I'm actually playing two instead of the one just to get a better chance of getting it for a second turn. It's almost crucial nowadays in decks to get first, second turn Bridget. Um, I'm playing three Guzmas. Uh, that's pretty standard. Um, and four ends, that's pretty standard. Three Sycamores, it was at four, but I dropped it down at another rare candy because I just didn't feel like I was pulling into my rare candies as much as I needed to. Um, one Skyla, and then three Choice Bands, um, energy is pretty standard, four double colors energy, and a fairy energy. Now, some of the little bits and pieces that people don't really use on this deck, if your opponent, uh, say you're playing against uh, Alolan Ninetales, Alolan Ninetales, as you guys know, um, the regular one doesn't allow um, your opponent to attack with EXs or GXs, and that's really bad, especially in today's meta, um, and really hard to overcome. You know, so this deck kind of focuses on that. You know, you don't run very many GXs um, and no EXs, of course, um, but it definitely is a uh, important to have some sort of solid attacker. Um, which you just really don't get out of any of the other non-GXs. So for the double colors energies, I mean, if you play a supporter card from your hand during this turn, this attack does 7 more damage. So you're going to be able to hit for uh, 130, even 110 with uh, resistance, which is going to be enough to knock out your opponent's Alolan Ninetales and things like that. 
Let's see here. Let me pull one up. Yeah, 110. So it's going to be able to knock out your opponents. Um, along with nine tails, you know, Garb Garbador is always always an issue. I mean, it, it, it's easy to play against, but Garbador with his trash lens ability, sometimes you just have to put stuff in your discard as far as items go. So it's definitely good to um, have something that can hit for 110. 110 ain't bad for a double color synergy. Now, go in here and we'll play. I'll play a few uh, a few rounds, see see what we can do. Um, as you guys can see, everything just reset for the versus rewards. So this is actually my first game in the new versus. Let's see what we can find. All right, guys. So it looks kind of like a. Uh, Looks like we're going against Tapu, um, Tapu Bulu, which I haven't really played against Tapu Bulu with this deck. I'm actually fairly new to playing this deck style. Um, not too bad of a hand. I mean, we only have one Pokemon, but we can Ultra Ball when everything gets set up. Let's see. So, yeah. Uh, no, actually not Tapu Bulu, it's um, Glissopod. So, as you guys know, first impression for one Grass Energy, if this Pokemon becomes your active, uh, it swings for 120 for one energy. Now, in today's meta, that's not too bad, especially with that having 210 hit points. It's kind of hard to knock out. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, so, it, it's just... Uh, and... And type of Goku promo, of course. Splash damage is, is going to be important to pay attention to, especially if I'm trying to set up a board and, and not have what I need. So, as much as I hate to do it, but I'm going to toss away Sycamore and Choice Bank can come in handy, but so can the energy. Let's so are these two. I'll go for Tapu of Lele. So important to have those, your setup. Hopefully, we can get everything up and running before Tapu Coco starts hitting a 60. Ooh, only one rolls. That's not good. So, that's going to hinder us a little bit. Um, put it all back here. Hope for uh, drawing into uh, <coughs> the. What's it called? Um, <laughs> rare candy. Kind of love it when my opponent field blowers when there's only one item down and there's no real threat about it. Um, I know it's always good to field blower, but sometimes I'll hang on to items just to, just because I know my opponent's going to field blower. You waste an item, but you save another one. And there's Glisspod. I gotta start thinking of a strategy on what to do if I don't draw into something good. Ah, my opponent is playing Espeon, so the rare candy might help us out for a turn or two, but it's not gonna be very helpful. My opponent's got a really good setup. He got a really good hand to start out with. <coughs> and front rolls goes down. Let's see, he's going to be able to hit for 100 or 150 depending. Choice band is going to be hitting for 131 or 80. I don't want him to get any more cards because the top of Lily. So let's put up the Remoraid and hope for something good. And we pulled nothing good. Um, we can always Guzma with the artillery with the double class energy retreats. I almost want to take the chance on Wimpod with the three retreat, but it just isn't worth the risk. He might pull a double close energy on me, but just kind of have to play it by ear. 
Well, got to be a bad hand, so we'll start out like this. Nowadays, it's so hard to to play when you have a bad hand. And, of course, he has a switch. So, he's going to knock out my tablet. I totally made a misplay there. So, let's see. Definitely going to put up the Remoraid. Saving Grace with a freaking rare candy. I just wish I had a hand to play with. Uh, I hope he doesn't have Guzma. Guzma is going to definitely play a hand draw on, on this. Ultra Palm. Get yourself an end. Help us both. <laughs> and second glist pot's coming out. Alright. I'm kinda glad I didn't take the risk on the glist pot. At least he's used his GX attack on my Tapu Lele. Not a Tapu Lele because of it, but at least let's see you so and of course. He's doing I'm only going to be able to hit for 90, assuming I don't draw into an energy. Yeah, I got bad hand. It doesn't help that I misplayed. It doesn't help that I prized up two, uh, two of my rolls. It's definitely playing a hinder on it, too. A whole secret spring up the energy. And I'm not going to be able to kill him, but at least maybe give myself something for future setup. If I can even recover from this, looking at it, it just doesn't look like I'm going to be able to recover. Um, <coughs> God of War generally gives me a pretty good hand, so I suppose I should have probably uh, expected the, the switch in this deck, especially when he's playing Glissopod. And Tapu Koko promo is ready to go. And Cardi goes down. And we got Rimmer. And I think that's going to be it for this game. Fighting chance here. Really <laughs> low chance. Yeah, we ain't got it. Yeah, looking at everything. I'm just going to concede you guys. This round was not a good first round. Let's see, maybe we can get a better second round. I want to choose heads, but of course, every time I choose tails, it gives me heads. Every time I choose heads, it goes tails. So, whatever. Well, in that bogus. Is it just me or when you're waiting for uh, your opponent to choose the coin flip and who goes first? It always takes so long. Uh, maybe that's just me, guys. Let's see. So we got this guy. Hello, we got the end. Probably put down the end first. See, like, look, that feels like it's been forever. I don't know. What, what are you doing? Not playing. Playing. You. you Ready to in, but didn't want to play. <laughs> All right, I think we're going to go for, depending on what he puts down, the double colors energy. I know it's going to be pretty much a smack him, he smacks me, and then I smack him back for kill, assuming he doesn't retreat it. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, double tap, quick promo, of course. Well, that gives me an idea. He probably doesn't have too many good things in his hand. I really don't want to play the end. Maybe I'll play the Skyla. Give me a Bridget. Yeah, we'll do that. Hit for 40. Wish I had a choice band. 
Oh, I could two shot him next turn with extra energy. I think. Yeah, 70. Yeah, I, I could two shot him with next turn if I had the choice ban. Ooh. And here comes the float stone. And the end. Cores. Pono always has N every time I get the cards that I need in my hand. <sighs> that set me back. Right, hopefully I pull into an N or a Bridget. If I pull into a Bridget, maybe we can make up with it for gl with a Glade. See, my opponent's going to let me swing on. Do Field Blower. I can't let him take it, that extra, or that less damage. And take the floatstone off of a Grand Guru. And get rid of that state, because that seems not good. <coughs> we can let this ride, which I think we're going to have to. So I need to start controlling what I pull. What I pick up. Let's see. I mean, dude, I'm hoping this video is uh, not all just, just me getting bad hands. Kind of shows the deck's bad. Maybe I'll like play a different deck if I get like three bad ones in a row or something. You know, I never understood why uh, people who play uh, Garbodor, um they play the that Rainbow Energy. And they just put it on their back one, like, why, why are you trying to hurt yourself? Maybe it's just something they didn't, like, take out or something? I don't know. Yeah, Ultra Ball. I gotta get some cards in my hand. Yeah, Ultra Ball, these two. And Tapu Lele's gone. I feel poor and rare candy. Oh, just be able to do 90, which is not going to kill. Darn. Well, I'll stop him from killing with splash damage, at least. I got my discard pile. A lot of things that are good, but I just don't necessarily need. Alright, I'll just take the 90 for now. Hopefully someone lets me get a good setup. Prized Hapulele. Another bad thing about playing uh, the Talon Flames is, is if you don't draw into your first turn, or before your first turn, it sucks. Like, it's really bad. 20, 40, 60. I could not get that back. Yeah, let's go ahead and take it. Get a little bit of that splash damage out of here. Probably bring up the Tapu Coco just because it's got the free retreat, but... I don't know, my opponent's deck doesn't look that great. It doesn't look like he's got a very good setup either. It doesn't really look like he knows what he's doing. Or doesn't have something to do, I guess. <laughs> if you guys have watched any of my previous episodes, uh, Ariel's sitting on the couch behind me. <laughs> Would you like to say hi? Hi. <laughs> I don't know if you guys could hear that or not, but my opponent really doesn't have like a, a hard deck to beat. He's just got an annoying deck. Yeah, carbon toxic. One, two, three, sixty. I gotta stop putting stuff in the discard if I can help it. And put that back there. That was a good thing to draw. Now here, I won't give my opponent any more cards. I don't really want to live without the. Let's go second one. Uh, 
we're going to hit this field blower, get rid of the stadium, get rid of that. That's kind of wrong for me to use the field blower, but I mean, I'm going to have to get rid of it. Although, town flames are good for this much. Toss them for ultra ball. Get your setup a little bit better. Especially when you have two in your hand. Got one guardy out. I don't really need anything more than a rim raid. Yo, secret spring. Do I spread the energy? Nah. Maybe spark for me to spread the energy, but nah. Knock out another one. Another one. Ah, another rim raid. I notice nowadays people don't really go after the rim raid, so that's kind of good. I think what I'm going to do... I gotta get that rolled down. More rolled down. I already have one set up, and I know that I can kind of set up one on the bench, but I need to get some stuff down. Maybe I'll ultra ball for artillery. Draw me some cards. Hope for some good top decks. Let's see here. Oh, it's got garbage toxin. Right, I need to bring that thing up and kill it quick. <coughs> Let's see. Do I ultra ball, get the artillery, and hope for the <sighs> Guzma? How many Guzmas do I have? One. <laughs> I forgot about garbage toxin. Dang. That was a misplay. But my opponent got bench space for it, so that'll be good at least. Only thing is I can't sit here and let him do splash damage. I also gotta build that rim right up. And another Potown. I'm pretty sure I only have two field blowers, so that's not good. I don't really want to take that spread damage. <laughs> Ooh, that's good. Maybe we can get to get those two back. Rescue stretcher. Ultra ball. Yeah, I'm gonna risk it with then. My opponent's got a little bit more cards in his hand and feeling a little bit more hesitant with what he's got. So I'm gonna toss those two, get the artillery. Top deck, two rolls like a boss. Just energy drive. Man, I need to start putting up that guard of war and start actually taking real knockouts instead of letting him do some splash damage to me. It hasn't done too much, but I don't know. I don't want to. I don't want to risk get my Pokemon knocked out when I can start hitting for more damage. <coughs> Can't take 40s when you can hit 120 minimum. I love how N's always in front of a Ferris wheel. There's always a Ferris wheel behind N. Choice band, not really going to be very helpful. But I'll draw another one. <laughs> another one. Do I want to do it on tap over there? Right, I think we're going to hang on to it. Put this down here, go in here, hope for rare candy, and a card board. Hey, looky there. Professor's Ledger's good too. There we go. This is how this deck is supposed to be played. This is what this deck can do when you get a good hand. When you get a bad hand, you know, you see some bad stuff like, like last game, but... Alright, we need to start doing some damage. We need to start knocking out these Pokemon instead of just adding to them. Let's start building up a third one. New Abyssal Hand here. 
I also gotta be very conscious of how many cards are in my deck. This deck will definitely burn quick. Oh, why did I do that? Alright, cool. Uh, I didn't notice he had the double close energy on him. <sighs> Scared myself for a second there. I didn't think he was gonna be able to knock out that type of Coco. But another one. Man, I gotta be cautious too, because next turn, two turns, you can knock out both of these guys if I don't get something going. Field blower for one choice pin. That's a good thing I shuffled the other one back in my deck. Not like I really need it, but. Waste your double colors energy. What you gonna do when I'm done? Knock down your Tapu Kokos. Enjoy the splash damage while you can. I actually almost envy everyone who has Tapu Coco promos. I traded mine up thinking that they weren't going to be worth anything. And then I actually realized what Flying Flip does and how it's good. And now I regret giving them up. Uh, and I don't really want to go spend the 15, 20 bucks it is to get another one. Me and Arrow used to collect cards and open uh, boxes and things like that. Um, it wasn't as, as common as some of these big, big, uh, big channels, or like card shop owners. But, ooh, Guzma, can't get rid of that Garbodor. I don't really need to get rid of it anymore. I got enough of a setup, but no one hurt either. And these are both rare candy jumps. Ooh, that's not gonna help you, anybody. Especially the 160. Who locks down his item? Oh, he did the fighting fury belt. Well, just because I don't like seeing the little red arrows. <sighs> Forgot about Poto. Okay, almost got that knocked out. Um, I'm gonna goose my here. I'm gonna goose my here. Uh, do I want to draw cards? No, I can't draw cards. Alright, we'll go infinite force, knock it out. Two more left. Just gotta get one of these Lele's. I know that type of Coco's coming up. Alright, so long artillery, so long Krillia. Dang. And I already threw away the other room right now. Yep. Alright. Maybe I'll top deck. Guzma. Hey, boss. That's a scary sign. <sighs> Ouch. Man, oh man, oh man, that was bad. Why is it only giving me the option for both of these? Oh, because all the rest of them are knocked out. Sick. Damn. Kicked over my daughter's vacuum. Sorry. At least one prize card left. I'm sitting here in the active with a freaking 70 hit points left. Well, let's toss down the bolts. Chanel, Chanel Rescue Stretcher. See, miraculous Shine is what I was trying to avoid when I put the Curlius in there, but it looks like it's pretty un inevitable. You know my opponent's just gonna retreat this. Man, dude. This game was so close to being won. I was talking all big. Well, maybe I can get one built back up. Let's see what I got in here. Four and two. So I still have four fairy energies floating around somewhere, four double colors energies floating around somewhere. Good game. <coughs> well played. 
which it doesn't say it at the end. Well, that was a little bit better. We actually had to at least take the prize off, or prize cards. I think I might record a few more videos tonight and go over some of these other decks. So like nowadays, like it doesn't matter. Like there's no like best deck in the meta. You know, like I think uh, I think I'm going yeah, Volcanian. Alright, this will be the last game. Let's see what happens. Town Flame works out. I think I chose to go first, too. And the one time you want to go second. Well, this would be good. He probably started up Baby Volk and then has. Maybe the Volk in the back. No, turn either. Yeah, no, for retreat. That makes sense. Maybe over here. Maybe here. I don't really need a Bridget, but. Bridget wouldn't hurt, not to mention. It's gonna kind of get these cards out of my deck, too, so that way I don't have to worry about top decking them. Uh, do I want to leave the last spot open for a Tapu Lele? No, I already put Tapu Lele down. So. And my bench space generally looks like this. Like I, I want three rolls out, a remoraid. Tabula generally comes down at one point. So <coughs> still good though. Uh, we're starting talent flame. By the way, sorry. Uh, I keep coughing. I'm trying to get over the sickness. I, I don't know what hit me or my wife, but it's definitely hitting us. It's been with us for like three weeks now. Ooh, we're gonna see first turn Kiawe. What do you got? Kiawe, yep. Alright. Top deck like a boss. Ooh, look at us bring up fresh hand. Get town flame up front. Maybe a secret spring. Yeah, maybe we'll top deck two other cards I need. Alright, that's alright. Kinda being from the professor's ledger at the end. So I got two cards in his hand, but I know he's gonna bring that up. What's he got on him? 190. 20, 30, 60, 90, 120, 150. It's gonna hit hard, but I almost feel like I should boost him up before he does. Let's do this. I'm hey, gonna take the calculation. Straight Guzma. I'm just not going to be able to knock me out for that 180. But it'd be good to hit him first for the 180. And oh, first came out, I thought to myself, four energies for 180, and I came and used it next turn. But at that time, I was playing Metagross GX. I kind of thought how good it might be. The artwork on the Volcano. I love the full arts that they're doing nowadays with the GXs, those are cool too. Actually, miss. Dang, I wish I had a choice ban on Guard of War. That would have been nice. Gonna knock me out. That's alright. Take the kill of Talon Flame, get the two prize cards, and get something. He's gotta build up a little bit again. And keep the hand the way it is. Maybe we'll draw something, see what I can pull. 
Kuzma. Kuzma. Let's see. Talvine. Air Blitz. Knock out that hello. Uh. Miraculous Shine really messed me up in the last game. So we're going to do this. And give me two of those. Give me two of them there. Pretty good chance my opponent's going to end just looking at my hand size. And he knows I got a few cards that I want. I don't understand people playing Slan Salazzle. At least the, the base, the Sun and Moon base set one in this deck. Make sure you get poison and burn, but poison only does ten. And burn's alright, but crap I'm turd. Yep, there goes the end. See you later, all you wonderful cards. <laughs> Alright, we'll toss down Trace Bound, Curlia. Do I need the Lele? Do I want the Lele on the bench? No, we're gonna toss it. Hope for a good, good hand. the back Volcanians. I remember when you used to play uh, Volcanian, you had to run float stone. At the time, the attack just wasn't good. The meta was too fast. So it's kind of nice that the meta slowed down a little bit. Ooh, double colors energy. Right. That there. That there. I have to put all my eggs in one basket, but kind of what I have to do here. Build up something and be able to swing back. I pull that guard if I, get, if I use the rescue stretcher. Let's see. Plus, now I can keep doing what I'm doing. Swing for two cards. Alright. Ah, I should pull the rare candy to the rescue stretcher. I'll be honest, I'm not the best player, but I'm still kind of learning this deck. I think there's only been one deck that I've gotten so good at that I just don't misplay it. And that was actually uh, my Mega Equaza deck back in, uh, I guess now it's, it's expanded. Stormy, so he's going for the right setup. Uh, I don't think this talent line is going to live that much longer. But I don't think his Terminator is going to live that much longer. I just can't let him discard these energies. Yeah, I'll get the goose, bro. I'll get the goose. <laughs> Got the goose. Did not get the other cards that I wanted, though. Man. <coughs> Yeah, he's running the. I personally think this Salazzle is a really good card. 250 if you're winning. That's going to knock anything out. I'm thinking about it, the only two Pokemon I, think I can think of that have like 250 hit points. Let's see, 30, 60, 90, 120. He's still got 150 left. Ugh. Risky. This is risky. <sighs> should put the Guzman back. I should put something up in Guzman. Thirty, sixty, ninety, one twenty, one fifty, one eighty. You're gonna be enough for knockout if I pull one in the lead. Come on. Dang. Well, plus no, he can only hit me for 20. Unless he's got Guzma, but I ain't worried about him taking up stuff on the my bench. Alright. 
so magical shot. At least we're hitting for something. It's always good to do some sort of damage. Seeing little green arrows. You're swinging for 150 for two energies. Uh, he's gonna knock this out. Dang. Put all my eggs in one basket and then pay out. I'll put the double close energy back here. I ain't making that same mistake. I'm gonna have to put artillery up. I let him knock it out. Four prize cards left, so I gotta hit for 200 on my hit. So 30, 60, 90. I'm gonna need four energies minimum with a choice band. With Krillia. Man. Boy, I hope this isn't third game in a row. 22 cards. Professor Sycamore is going to drop me down to 15, which is my lucky number, and it takes me down to where he's at. Maybe it will draw Guardi. How many energies I got left? Six. I take the risk. Or I could end him down. That will drop his hand a little bit. He's got everything he needs set up. So I ain't too worried about cards. And I dropped the sycamore. Got the guardian. That's a good sign. Destroy the freaking talent flame. Put it here. As long as he doesn't have freaking Guzma. Guzma first came out, I, I didn't know what to expect, and now I'm like, oh, freaking Guzma. What? Huh. Nice myth play, well played. Dang, three games in a row. Should I made some misplays there. I have to go back and watch this video to see if I did. Man. Alright, well. You win some, you lose some. Guess there ain't really too much I can do on that. So, that manager. Man, when this deck sets up, it's good. But when your opponent knocks out what you need, it's bad. <laughs> um, just like with any other deck in the meta nowadays, you have your good games and your bad. It's a little harder to to set up, just like you would. Let's put it this way: it ain't Mega Ray, Mega Ray. That deck always worked out for me. Maybe I'll add another Talent Flame. Drop curly uh, at town for him. Hmm. Alright, well, I'll, I'm gonna let this video end. Um, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Peace.